Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically Hemp Hill, North Carolina, and I am at the home place of Marvin Popcorn Sutton. Now, for those of you who do not know who Popcorn Sutton is, in short, he is the world's most famous moonshiner. He lived here in the Western Carolina mountains, as well as the Eastern Tennessee mountains. He's often associated with Maggie Valley, North Carolina, or Cosby, Tennessee. And popcorn, he looked exactly like you would hope a moonshiner would look. And overalls, a crazy hat, a long beard, a rugged face, and popcorn was an absolute master at cultivating his own image. He would often appear in documentaries where he called himself the last of the mountain people. He would make moonshine demonstrations, often appearing on the History Channel. He appeared on the show Moonshiners, appeared in several documentaries. I think there's a... So probably has his own IMDB page. Um, and an absolutely beloved and well-known in this area, and um, sadly, a uh, while back, Popcorn was arrested for making moonshine. The world's most famous moonshiner was arrested for making moonshine. Now, as ridiculous as that sounds, it is a crime. You can't make moonshine. So, Popcorn was sentenced to spend some time in a federal prison. Popcorn did not want to spend time in a federal prison, and as one last act of defiance, he killed himself using carbon monoxide poisoning from his truck. And when they went to bury him, he had already had his tombstone carved in anticipation of this suicide event, and his tombstone sent a message to the federal agents his tombstone read, Popcorn says, you. An interesting and now legendary epitaph. You actually find t-shirts, Popcorn Sutton t-shirts, that says that phrase on them. He's an absolute, still local legend, as I imagine he will be until the end of time. But here, we have his home place, which I'm guessing is where he was born as a child. So we are going to go take a look. You guys want to follow me? Let's go. It says, Taint got false teeth. This used to be a pen where he kept vicious dogs to protect his home place. Got a lost toilet right there. So obviously that sign did not have a lot of information. I'm guessing this is where Popcorn was born. If we can step inside here. Some old rusty junk. It's an old stove. I 
This is actually, check out this. This is an entertainment schedule for Ghost Town in the Sky. Country Critter Jamboree. Ghost Town in the Sky map and entertainment schedule. Not sure why this is here. This is actually uh, this is actually an old one. It's because it calls the roller coaster the Red Devil. That's the old name. Looks like there's maybe a Christmas tree. Popcorn's Christmas tree. Popcorn sink and his ghetto blaster. Some chains. Yeah, this building is almost completely collapsed. No sign of any moonshine stills, of course. Old tin pitcher. Oh, there we go. Mason jars. Mason jars. Popcorn Sutton's secret stash of mason jars. There's also some old milk jugs, possibly used. For moon shining. Not sure what that box is for. Very interesting location with connections to one of the most interesting folk heroes here in the Appalachian Mountains, the last moonshiner, Popcorn Sutton. And you wouldn't even know it was here. Then put that little sign out front. So very cool. This is just sitting out here, a piece of mountain history. Absolutely amazing. I never had a chance to meet Popcorn. I was actually trying to figure out a way to meet him, trying to track him down, but he died before I had a chance. Um, I wanted to visit his grave and see his notorious gravestone, but no one can tell me where that's at. I believe it's, it's on private land. I don't know if the family wants people to, uh, to see that. And some other suggested viewing is uh, if you want to look up, and I, and I warn you this is very explicit, but there's an interview where Johnny Knoxville from Jackass interviews Popcorn Sutton. It is incredibly vulgar, incredibly disturbing, but it is one of the most hilarious and interesting things I've ever watched. So, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Check out my website, www.thecarpetbagger.org. We follow Southern culture, roadside attractions, folk heroes such as Popcorn Sutton, and I appreciate it. Thank you.